Hey everyone, it's Steve from VoIP and Telecom. In this video, I'm going to cover how to uh, get started with a phone number from VoIP.ms. So if you're starting some kind of new enterprise, like a business, or you just need to get a phone number, and you don't want to use your cell phone, which is highly recommended to uh, to avoid using your cell phone number for, for publishing a number, uh, you can set one up on VoIP.ms. So if you have not already, you would create an account. So you go to VoIP.ms and you would find the little spot where it says create account. You know, the usual things like name, address. Uh, and then after you create the account, you will need to add some funding to it. So you have to put in at least $15 minimum. So if you haven't done that yet, that's right here under finances. You go to add funds and you can use your PayPal or you can have it go to a credit card and uh, you add some funding to it. All right. So, yeah, because you need at least, I think, a couple dollars to, to order a U.S. phone number. So you're going to need. But like I said, the minimum is $15. All right. So so once you've got that much done, got the account created, you got your your funds in your account from this main page uh, up here where it goes, where it's got the main menu, go over here to DID numbers and then go to order DIDs. Now, under order DIDs, you get this uh, selection of whether you want a local, a toll-free. There's even some international stuff. We're going to cover just local for the United States. And I'm going to click on United States. And then you have this search tool. And what's kind of cool about the search tool is you can search for strings of numbers. So, like, if you're one of these people who likes to have, you know, like, 777 or maybe part of your name or something in the phone number you could you could put that in here what i'm going to do though is use the search tool to do a starts with the area code that i want so i want area code 321 and then i want uh my state florida and then i click search and be a little patient with it because it's got to go digging through the database so but what's really cool about this is that it allows you to pick the actual phone number and that's exciting because a lot of services that you sign up for won't let you see the phone number until after you've agreed to purchase it here you actually get to see the exact phone number that you want to purchase right okay so here's all the different phone numbers now one thing you can do once you get the the page up this is this is not a voip Dot .ms thing this is just a, a browser trick is you can you can do a, a control f or if you're on the mac you do that little um, command f and then you could search for things on the page so like if i wanted to search for anything that happened to have 777 in it so let me see if i got a hit here i got a hit yeah so here's a phone number oh that actually ends in 777 so all right so just something you can use because there's probably easily probably i don't know 2 300 phone numbers on this page right here but i'm just going to take a quick scroll and see what I see. Oh, here's something kind of cool. Here's some sequential phone numbers. So if you were perhaps starting a business and you were going to have several phone numbers for your staff, like say you had five people, you could give, you know, maybe make, you know, one number be your main number. And then this could be like 6041, 6043, 6044, 45, you know, so um, so you could you could actually, you know, give them out individually like that. And they're kind of all pretty similar. Uh, let's see. Let me find something. All right. I've got this number right here, 380-1555. So we'll go with that. So I'm going to put a check mark next to it. And then you have to scroll all the way down to the bottom here. All right. Now, what you need to do here is uh, choose the appropriate, uh, what they call POP server. So this is the, the data center where the phone number will be hosted. Uh, it can actually be changed later. But it's better if you pick it now because then also when you make your sub accounts, which I'll talk about at a different point, you're going to want to make that the same too. Uh, what's close for me? Uh, Tampa. Now, if you look, these little green check marks tell you that these are preferred. Um, it doesn't stop you from choosing the non-preferred, but it's just letting you know that like, for instance, with Tampa, either three or four is preferred. So I'll go with four. All right. So I just want to make a mental note that I chose Tampa four. All right, let's see. Now, this is where do you want to direct it? Now, because this is a brand new account, I don't have anything to direct it to. I don't have an IVR, which is another word for an auto attendant. I don't have a phone. I don't have voice. I don't have anything right now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just leave it as is, and I'm going to build something afterwards. All right, so let's go ahead and click order DID. All right, that takes a little bit you have to be patient because after you click order id there's no spinny icons there's no please wait it just kind of sits there and does nothing and you just kind of have to be patient for about oh like 25 seconds or something like that 
All right, so what does letting me know is that uh, it's going to be a monthly fee of 85 cents and there's going to be a 40 cent setup fee. And then if I believe, um, let's see, setup fee. So I'm going to pay $1.25 right now. But then after that, it's going to be 85 cents a month plus the 0 0.009 cents or just under one, one US penny per minute for inbound. All right, so I'm going to click confirm order. Again, no no spinny icon, although my, my browser actually is kind of making a little spinny thing right there in the corner, so it tells me it's thinking. All right, so it's confirming now that this phone number has been added to my account. So that's great. Only problem is it's not going anywhere right now. So if you were to call that phone number, I'm pretty sure you would just get a busy signal. Now, there are a lot of different directions I could go from here, but to make this really simple, what I'm going to do is show you how to just simply do a forward. And then if you want to get a little more fancy, you can build an IVR, and then you can even have IVR with sub accounts that transfer to phones. But right now, I think the easiest thing to do is probably just, just forward it to a cell phone, and then we can, we can talk about uh, what's next in another video. So now that you've got your phone number on your account, go over here to uh, the DID numbers again. And then go to call forwarding right here, call forwarding. So what you do is you you build what's called a forward. I don't know why you have to build it first, but you do. Um, and so I actually already built one, but I'll show you how to do it. Just so this will be blank for you. So click add forwarding and basically put in the phone number you're going to want to redirect to. So if you've got a cell phone, you know, put that in. Uh, and then I recommend putting in the one. So like if your area code is, you know, 713, 222, whatever, put in one 713 and then the phone number. Uh, these next three fields are actually optional, but I would in the description put something like uh, this. This is my label. Something that just tells you what, what that is so you can see it later. All right. All right. And then click save. So now you've got a forwarding set up. So then when, once you've, you've got a forward rule, like see, I've already got one here for my work cell. So come over here to DID numbers and then go to manage DIDs. And then all we're going to do is just simply point it at that. So if I click on uh, the little yellow edit button right here. I'm going to choose. See, here's all the different things it can do, right? Okay, see all the different places it can go. I'm going to say when that comes in, I want you to point it at... Uh, where's the forward call forwarding right here and then choose this should actually only be one anyway if it's not a drop down just click the drop down and choose it all right so once you've done that you want to come down here and click apply changes and it's thinking all right and then now and it might i think they said yeah see look right here it says may take up to one minute for changes to propagate to the servers meaning the minute you save it don't turn around and call it right that second give it about 60 seconds and try it but um anyway so that's basically that's all we're doing now is i've just i've, I've got that phone number that i purchased which is the 321-380-1555 and i'm pointing it at 321-336-70 which is my work cell now we can get fancier later. I just, I'm going to wrap it up right here just because I wanted to, to just show you how to, how to get a phone number and how to point it at something else. But what you can do later is you can come back and you can do things like build an IVR, which is here under digital receptionist. And it's a little, I would say it's a little complex, but it, it's, it's totally doable. It's not rocket science. It just, just kind of needs to be explained. Um, the other thing you can do too, is you can create what's called a sub account. And then you can either put that on a, on a, physical voice over IP phone, like a polycom, or you can put it on a, like a soft phone, like a, like here's one, like Lin phone is a, is a, is a free soft phone you can get. Um, but again, that's going to have to be a separate video because that's, that's kind of some steps we'd have to do. All right. So let's just wrap it up there. Be aware of two, th uh, one thing, when someone calls that number that you just bought and it's forwarded to your mobile phone, you're paying the amount of money for the call to come in, which is, is 0 0.009 cents per minute, and you're paying the outbound. And I didn't look to see what the outbound is, but it's probably about the same, like one cent a minute or something. So for every inbound call you're taking, it's, it's running about two cents a minute. But if this is a published number and it's going to result in something that you really want, then I would imagine two cents a minute is kind of trivial. All right. So hope that helped you out. Please leave comments if something I didn't... Uh, explain clearly so that I can circle back and address them. And I appreciate you watching. Thank you.